Uh, hello friends, uh, my name is Parwiz and today is our 8th lesson of JavaFX. Uh, today uh, uh, I want to show you how you can make a list view in JavaFX and how you can add uh, event handlers to the list view. Okay, let's get started. Make a new project, uh, JavaFX FX application. I call it list view. And change the effects ML to list view. Finish. Okay, now you can remove the comments from the controller. Okay, open open effects ML file. Let me remove this button and label. Uh, make it bigger. Make bigger than Kerpin. Search a list view. Add it here to the your anchor pane. Okay. Uh, now um, you can add. Uh, ID, FX ID for this list view. Also, you can add uh, some styles uh, like background, background color, uh, E7, E7, E7. Uh, save it, control save, control S. Okay, now in controller, remove these. First of all, import, uh, import. Java FX dot scene dot control dot list view. Okay, now uh, connect your uh, list view to the controller. Write at FXML and uh, private list view. Leave it string data type. List view. Uh, be sure that uh, this list view uh, should be according to the uh, FX ID. Okay, now uh, as we have made in combo box, uh, now we should make an observable list for our list view. Uh, observable list mm, string name it list effects collections dot observable array, array list now in here you can write uh, some names John uh, Tom Ahmed and one other name, okay? Uh, like this. Now import uh, Alt Enter, import uh, JavaFX collection observable list. Now, uh, simply you can take your list view variable uh, dot set items list, okay? Now we can run. You can see these are the names that we have added. Okay, now let me mm, zoom because I forgot to zoom it. This is the code. Uh, okay, now uh, uh, we want to add uh, dynamically uh, items or names uh, to our list view. First of all, open your FXML file, uh, find a button, tick button 
add it here changes to add items uh, in uh, properties and change the color also uh, make it a little bigger make it bold now uh, add a text field Uh, text field like this uh, give it a prompt text uh, enter any item uh, make it bigger uh, like this okay mm, first of all give an ID to this uh, mm, I give it text field text Field. Control save, save it. Now uh, come to your controller and uh, connect your uh, text field to the controller. Uh, private text field. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. Make sure that you add uh, Java fix text field not awt. Uh, this not awt just Java fix in control. Okay. Now uh, make a function public method function method or function public void add items. Uh, let me zoom. Add item action event event. Now, uh, first of all, uh, you should get uh, the inputs from the text field. Uh, for this, I uh, give it string string item text field dot get text get text. Uh, now uh, take your list view uh, list view dot get items uh, dot add all and give it item variable okay this is the code simply you make a function uh, a method or function uh, then um, you should get uh, input from the text field then you add uh, your input to the list view okay now uh, let me a little mm. now uh, we have made our method uh, now we should connect uh, we should connect our method uh, to the fxml open your fxml file uh, select the button add item and uh, on action select add items and control s now you can run your application uh, this is our application now I want to add uh, uh, another name like uh, Bob uh, you can see that here is the Bob or we'll add another um, like fruit apple uh, mango mm, you can add everything uh, okay guys uh, thank you if you have any questions please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe my 